What is Vardenberg syndrome? It is a group of genetic condition inherited as autosomal dominant and named after a Dutch ophthalmologist and genetic expert Petrus Johannes Vardenberg. The characteristic features are white forelock, broad nasal root, hypertrichosis of the medial part of eyebrow and the eye shows lateral displacement of the medial canthus with dystocia of the lacrimal puncta that is dystopia cantorum and pigmentary abnormalities of the iris or heterochromia iridis that is two different colored eyes. Uh, here you can see dystopia cantorum that is the vertical line drawn through the medial puncta normally will not intersect the cornea but in this case it will intersect and also heterochromia iridis that is the each eye will have a different color and remember that Wardenberg syndrome especially type 4 is associated with a Hirschsprung disease or congenital megacolon usually asked as MCQ. There are four clinical variants from type 1 to type 4 and type 1 and 2 are the most common types and type 3 is very rare. And type 1 is due to mutation of PAX3 gene, PAX3 gene associated with sensory neural hearing loss, dystopia cantorum, patchy pigmentation of the hair and the skin, neural tube defects, cleft palate and uh, cleft lip and also pigmentary abnormalities of the eyes. And the characteristic histopathological finding is the absence of melanocytes. And this is clinically recognized by the specific morphological features that appears after birth. The white forelock, broad nasal root, difference in the color of the eyes, etc. Though it is a clinical diagnosis, two criteria are used. That is the major and the minor criteria. And the major criteria is heterochromia, sensory neural hearing loss, white forelock, lateral displacement of the inner canthus of the eye and presence of a first degree relative with uh, Wardenberg syndrome and the minor criteria are broad nasal root, white macules on the skin, then synophrase that is the meeting of medial end of eyebrows in the midline and the premature graying of the scalp hair and hypoplasia of the nasal ala. So to get a clinical diagnosis of type 1 Wardenberg syndrome, there should be two major or one major and one minor criteria. There is no definite treatment for Wardenberg syndrome. Early diagnosis and uh, hearing rehabilitation with cochlear implantation is very important. Sun protection is necessary for hypopigmented patches and also genetic counseling is very important. So cochlear implantation, sun protection and genetic counseling are comes in the mainstay of rehabilitation.